Part 5 to the Home Light 990 Rebuild Restore. Well, it's TJ coming back to you Saturday evening about 9.30. Uh, old TJ's had kind of a rough day today, so I'm just kind of feeling a little sleepless tonight. So I'm just staying out late in the shop. Anyhow, work today and after work, the day kind of went a little bit downhill, but been feeling better, been happy to just be out here working away at this saw and I've made a decent amount of progress. Uh, I had to the idler stud I had to take the other one as you can see this one the threads are pretty boogered up on the edge there where the bolt the nut goes on to hold the one idler gear. I had to take the other one off and then I had to take the nut and re-tap it and then uh, clean up the threads on the other one so I got that fixed Got the clutch installed, got the gear installed, the front drive gear. And you guys can see right there, it's sticking out. Clutch, clutch drum, bushing, oiled that. Covers, everything's tightened down. Gasket, went ahead and put a light bead of Honda Bond on there. And let me move some of this stuff out of the way. Like I said, uh, ain't doing too terribly well this evening, so video quality is not going to be all that great of course it ain't all that great to begin with but you know oh she's starting to get heavy again guys more and more this magnesium gets put back on there there you go starting to look like a chainsaw again got the side cover on there all the screws are tightened down sight glasses on for the gear oil the uh, oil line's been ran tightened down caps are put on I'll have gaskets, fuel caps put on. Got the governor arm installed and it is functioning as it should. Basically to hold it at full throttle and then once the uh, handle is installed the throttle rod will go in front of this brass bushing and what the governor does is the governor is operated by the uh, wind resistance basically so when the flywheel is turning what it does is that the shroud here catches the wind and forces this flap open which basically um, when the saw is not under load well basically it'll let the saw do a certain RPM so you can govern these down to about you can govern these way 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 down depending on spring tension and how much you adjust this up or down right now I'm gonna bet this saw is probably running a max speed of Oh, 6,000, I think. It's probably set right where it needed to be from the factory. I don't think that governor's been messed with. Um, I may just go ahead and tighten the governor down a little bit more, but we'll see. I'm going to fiddle with it a little bit and probably tune it in. Excuse me, had a yawn there. Um, but right now it's just at that setting. It's hooked up, it works good, it's bolted down. Um, I don't remember quite in the last video where I left off, but fuel lines have been ran. Um, I had to make a gasket for uh, the little petcock here, and I silicone that a little bit with some Honda Bond just to seal it. Um, basically just trying to make this saw uh, somewhat sealed up. They did leak a little bit anyway, but I, um, you know, I am doing a paint test, but I don't want gas and oil leaking all over it constantly if I can help it. I may end up having to go with another fuel line that was just on there for now. It is pretty tight, so, but it is Tygon, and Tygon is not all that great. Um, especially after it's had fuel in it for a while, it tends to get soft, and there start your leaks. I do have a genuine carb kit in there, as I've said probably 100,000 times, because these stupid aftermarket kits all tend to weep fuel. As you can see, of course this one's been out of fuel. It should have stopped weeping by now. I did run it as dry as I could. Hopefully the fuel's pretty much evaporated out of there by then. But I may, I may take this one apart once more and actually put a genuine kit in there because I'm tired of seeing the fuel sitting on the edges of the gaskets. Uh, it's terrible when you have to pay $17 for an old carb kit, an HL carb kit, when the aftermarkets are only 6 bucks. But then again... It's also terrible when you're watching fuel leak all all over your fresh paint. Um, basically, I'm just I'm just cruising on getting this thing back together. I'm waiting on a set of points. 
Um, the person that I was going to order the condenser from has not responded, so I guess I'm just going to be stuck with the old one. I'm going to hope that it's going to last for me uh, for a little while longer. Um, I'm, I'm a little ticked off that this person hasn't responded, but oh well. At least the guy with the points responded and got those sent out to me. But uh, I guess you just can't. I guess you can't just and uh, just you know be happy with everybody. Um, of course, this person, just in case this person watches this video, Leon, it's not you that I'm talking about. <laughs> Leon is great about his orders. He, he, man, that guy sends his orders within two days. This is somebody else, Leon, so don't worry about it. Um, the, it's not you by any means. I did send you an email, though, in case you didn't get it. Um, of course, by the time I get this video up, shoot, it's going to be weeks from now. Um, but anyhow, this is, yeah, this is a whole different person, so... Didn't dawn on me, Leon might think it's him, but yeah, it's not you, Leon. <laughs> so, anyhow, um, yeah, basically, just got a brand new set of, or not a brand, yeah, yeah, new old stock set of points on the way. Um, like I said, gonna hope the condenser will last for a while longer. These condensers seem to be okay for, shoot, quite a while. As often as the saw is gonna run, I think I'll be fine. Uh, my thing is just heat and cold, heat and cold. Is it gonna be able to last long enough? Definitely don't want this thing to die on me because taking them apart and fixing them are it's not all that fun. So, if I can source a condenser, I will get one and get it coming as quick as I can. Because I want to get this darn thing back together. Um, as soon as those points show up, then I'm going to be rocking. Um, and I just need a spark plug. And maybe a kill switch. I might look for a kill switch as well. So, there's definitely plenty I can... Uh, uh, there's definitely not much. I could technically get it running now. That points condenser and coil made spark, made a good hot spark, a running spark. Um, but I just I want to make it decently reliable. Um, whereas if I go to a get together, I want it to fire up, and I don't want to be embarrassed pulling and pulling and be like, oh, it's got no spark. So anyhow, well we're getting at eight minutes. I'm gonna quit jabbing on, and I will bring you guys back when we got some more going on. But she's looking like a chainsaw, guys, and she's getting heavy.